Hey and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Shield. This is episode 43. And here's our current team. Dracovish, Dracosalt, Berascuda, Colossal, Greedent, Rillaboom. And in the box we have Corviknight, Copperaja, Appleton, Dredna and Sentiscorch. I've caught a Corsola in the wild area. It has like the hidden ability, I think. I mean, it was like the the weird lightning pillar, that special one. So I guess that's uh, that means it's the hidden ability. But yeah, not hundred percent sure. Um, yeah, that's our party. That's our team. And I have a new outfit as well, just a little bit something new. And I didn't really find some stuff that I would like to have and to look like. But yeah, that's how it turned out. And so I was in the wild area in the last part, pretty long, I know. And I did some more stuff there and... I actually beat the Sentiscorch, the Gigantamax Sentiscorch, with uh, or on my second try. But I didn't manage to catch it at all. I was actually able to battle another one, and I also didn't catch it again, because Pokeballs are bad. Yeah, I didn't stay in the ball, but I got some nice items, and I battled even more uh, Dynamax. Pokemon in the wild area, so I got a lot of T or TRs, and yeah, um, I actually saw how the pillars refreshed after beating all of the, the lightning pillar Dynamax Pokemon, and even the Wats are refreshed from the dance, so that's very nice. So I can just keep on doing that, but I couldn't keep on doing that because there are a few 5-star Pokemon and 5-star is way too much for, for my Pokemon to handle right now. Alright, so what else? Um, yeah, so Dynamaxing overall, I can say it's not super fun. It was interesting at first a little bit, but now it's just a hassle annoying because they set up barriers and stuff and you have to hope oh my god please don't let the turns be over um, and then you have to even pray for the Pokemon to stay in the ball so yeah not really fun pretty annoying everything takes too long all the moves all the animations everything I mean you can turn off battle animations but still and yeah, that's that. Um, let's go through our items, actually. I've, uh, I got a few new ones. Choppleberry, Caseberry, okay. Nothing too special. Also got the Experience Candy L. Did I see correctly? I got 19. Yeah, I did quite a few Dynamax battles. Like 5 or 4. So yeah, I got some TRs as well. Bug Buzz. Heat Crash, Blaze Kick, Flare Blitz. Ice Beam, Workup, Blizzard, Energy Ball. Grass Nut, Leaf Storm, Brave Bird, Hurricane, Ally Switch and Trick. These two I got from... Corsola actually. I was pretty surprised because I was expecting some ghost type moves. But yeah, Colossal could land Flare Blitz. Ooh. And heat, heat Crash, of course. Well, I'm not sure if I wanna do any of these. Um, I also found out where I can lower the volume. You can just do that here. So that's the 
special headphone things that we got at the somewhat at the beginning of the game. And yeah, we can turn it off and stuff. So yeah, good to know. And I guess let's check uh, the leak card of Pierce actually because I always forgot. And I don't know why I look like that. I guess I mashed A sometime while changing outfits. Anyway, let's see what the card has to say. Spike Mouth lacks a power spot that would allow Pokemon to Dynamax and thus not many fans come to visit the town. Pierce feels responsible for allowing his town to fall into obscurity and dilapidation. Um, once in battle, Pierce tends to get riled up and will often reveal his strategy early on, but he has the strength and skill to triumph regardless. However, his true passions are singing and songwriting, and his talents in these fields are well known. As such, he currently hopes that his younger sister will take over as gym leader. Okay, interesting. I guess it's kind of nice that we didn't spoil it, or at least for me, that I didn't spoil it for myself before doing the gym battle, but yeah. So I actually have no idea where the train is, to be honest. Why are these people all here? Oh right, I actually do know where the train is over here. There's still people saying stuff. Are you telling me where to go? No, Dragon Scout treasures, right. Um, you are new. Let's go, Shanina Shield, let's go. I'll be cheering for you during the semi-finals. That's nice. Talk to them already. All right. Just checked some notes again, but we, or I said everything I wanted to say. All right. So a cutscene, or maybe a rival battle. Hold up, Shanina! I'm coming too. I had Raiden beat in no time. Oh really? Once I get, uh, once I got my head in on straight and stopped doubting every decision I made, that is. <laughs> All right, good job, Hop. And you never stopped nethering on through the entire battle. You're pretty different from the champion in that, but your strength is genuine, as proven by the dragon badge you won for me. You came at me with all the force of a raging storm, and even I was blown away. Listen up, you two. Battle your way through the Champion Cup tournament to face Leon. One of you ought to. It can only be one of us, right? I reckon I'm still the favorite to win, but I'm up against my true rival, Shanina. So I'll ring out every last thing I learned during my battle with Urayan to beat her. So get a move on, Shanina. The train's waiting. Right. The train is departing soon, right? That's something you hear very often when playing Sonic Adventure 1. That the train is departing soon. Well, oh, this uh, or such a th uh, scene again. We're finally headed for Windham. There's a lot I want to check out there. There's that big tower and the monorail and Wadon Stadium, where the whole of Gala know the whole world is gonna be watching us. That's crazy. You get it, right? You and me are gonna make our match the, they're the greatest match there ever was. Hmm. It's gonna be interesting. I wonder what scenery would appear if all the snow and rot ten melted away. Who knows? Cleared the gym mission at Hammerlock Stadium. Did you a long challenger? Congratulations. Now you can purchase more items. So, welcome to the Pokemon. Let's see. Full restore. Ooh. I guess that's it. Could be useful. 
Let's buy a few, I guess. Alright, I think I need to check my items actually. Oh, so that's Route 10. So this is Route 10. It's like a wall made out of snow. Bet there'll be ice type Pokemon crawling out of the woodwork in a place like this. Come on, Janina. Reckon we'll be able to train ourselves up to new heights here before the Champion Cup starts. I believe in myself and the Pokemon on my team, and I know we'll get all we'll all get loads strong. So I'm off. See you in Wayne then, mate. Alright. There's an item here. Two X attacks. Pretty useless. Oh my god. I can't go here. If I go up, I move here. Yeah, and then I immediately sit down. Alright, I think I wanted to check my items. They're fine. It's just a few in the box. Or like, Sandy Scorch does have the, the bug powder. Wow, it's the, the silver. What the... Why was that Glalie so fast? Oh my god. Level 47. Hopefully you don't have freeze dry because that would be four times effective against me. But yeah, it's gone now anyway. Not like we can't just run away. Oh my god, that Mr. Mime. Dancing around like that. Galarian Mr. Mime. Pretty interesting. And I can't go here. And Mr. Mime can't go out of the grass. Oh, it can. It's just pretty weird. I don't know. Alright, let's see. There's a trainer up here. And another thing I noticed, because I did catch a Gyarados and a, a the Hexorus um, to beat these Dynamax Pokemon for um, for the TR farming, but um, I didn't want to get too much experience for my other Pokemon, so I. Yeah, I caught them and wanted to beat the Dynamax Pokemon with them, but then I noticed that you don't even get experience from these Dynamax battles, so yeah. I could do it with these Pokemon. Do you have any injured Pokemon? I'm a doctor. Well, I might have some after our battle. Gardevoir. Psychic Fairy type. Not really something we want to face as a dragon, I guess. But we also don't have any real counter. We don't have a dark type. Or a poison type. Let's see, I think... I think I'll try to stay in for one move. Yeah, it's super effective. That's annoying. But it's a pretty weak move, so we will survive and can bite her. Or it Gardevoir. It's even male, but yeah. I think I'm going to Do I wanna go Greedent actually? I'm going to Colossal. Because Greedent has a lot of HP and I don't want them to heal up too much. Training kiss, yeah, and at least with uh, Colossal we resisted. And now we can finally use Rock Slide on Colossal. He still uses the same move over and over. Don't you have any Psychic type move? It's kind of weird. I already, uh, already need to heal up my Pokemon, that's kinda annoying. Guess I'll have to use some potions. I would go back to a uh, Pokemon Center, but there's nothing here. Now hopefully we don't miss. And finish this battle. Nice. So Route 10 is starting, which is basically a victory road, I guess. So 
so that's cool. And I'm expecting some cool stuff from it. What's this? What's this? My Pokemon ended up injured. Yeah. Now heal my Pokemon. A strong trainer like you has probably seen many injured Pokemon. Must be pretty tough. Well, it's just a game, so yeah. All right, it's just two, two potions, and that's it. So let's continue. Anything up here? Wow, it's pretty, pretty steep. I could see any real life, or walking up here in real life would be kind of dangerous. Like you could uh, slide down again and stuff. I mean, it could be fun, but <laughs> maybe you don't want it. Maybe you want to go up. Only do what you can. Taking risks while mountain climbing is dangerous. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I got Douglas. I don't even have a hat because of my hairstyle. The pony. You can't have a hat with that. So it's pretty cold, probably. And I am... I'm not going to switch, actually. Oh, goodness. Let's hope it does some little damage. Yeah, it's not super duper bad. Still wish we had any sh uh, anything stronger, to be honest. Alright, he's using dig. Guess let's go to Rillaboom. not super effective and we still have our special move to hopefully damage Steelix enough. Because Steelix has huge physical bulk. So we wanna attack with special moves. Nice. A crit. Not sure if that mattered. Could have. But it's fine either way. And we level up. Nice. What was that? M? Is it Mudsdale? Guess let's stay in then. Yeah. This one also has great bulk. And it can even have an ability that raises its defense when hit. Which is pretty crazy. But this one doesn't. And we even avoid the high horsepower. Not bad. And then let's finish this. Pretty interesting that this final path is another ice area or a snow mountain area. Pretty similar to um, to Route Nine, I guess, or a little similar. And yeah, I'm getting rid of rest because I've never used it. You won't be able to beat a strong opponent without pushing the limits of what's possible. Alright. Yeah, I've never used rest ingredient. Because healing up with items is so much better. But it's nice to have another move. To possibly hit some opponents or some special typings that we wouldn't be able to hit otherwise. Alright, this Mr. Mime wants to follow us. And I'm not sure where to go. Seems like all of the ways. Oh no. But all of them lead to the next area. Trainer tips. The Dynamax phenomenon is caused by a special power that originates, uh, originates from within Pokemon. Okay, warping space around them and making them appear far larger than they truly are. Some Pokemon also change appearance on up on Dynamaxing. That particular kind is also known as Gigantamax. Alright, thankfully we were able to get around it. 
I bomb us now. And let's battle against this trainer. I get more nervous about the battles than work. Well. Maybe your work isn't as stressful or I don't know, there isn't much on the line. But while battling you always have to pay up money if you lose. Hound class, ooh. Thankfully we are a water dragon type, so it means our only two weaknesses are dragon and water. I think I'm going to Colossal. Resist ice type moves and can attack it super effectively. With rock slide to beat it. Let's see, he also has two Pokemon, Metal Claw, ooh. And we managed to connect, nice. It's gonna be pretty interesting how that uh, Champion Cup is gonna go. I'm kind of expecting because I've heard that there's no Elite Four or something. So, played all. Um, So I am kind of expecting to battle our rivals and stuff. I mean, they pretty much said it anyway, right? So, Champion Cup, all these gym challengers are going to face off each other, against each other. And the final one standing will be able to battle the champion. That's what I'm expecting. So we're probably gonna fight Hop, Marnie, and then Leon. I mean, probably Marnie before Hop. And I'm not sure what's happening to Beat. I can't imagine him not appearing again, to be honest. And also the, the story finale is kind of missing as well. Like the whole Gigantamax or Dynamax phenomenon with these Earthquakes and Chairman Rose. When I do business, I'm called a businessman. So when I battle, should I be called a battleman? Uh, that sounds kind of weird. 3600, nice. Being together with Pokemon. It's really amazing if you think about it. Yep, but... It's only in the game. Ooh, a Cometra. There's so many trainers here. Guess we should heal up a little bit. And I wanna use Greedent actually because it's been a while. Been a while, it's kind of getting left behind, I feel like. The post, I wonder just how long we can keep on carrying letters like this. Poor. Well, in a snowstorm like that, you should probably have some gloves. And then some kind of coat maybe, because you're. Clothes don't seem super warm. Oh my god, this Pelipper is drizzled, okay. And Pelipper has great defense, so... I'm going to Draco Salt and uh, Thundershock it. Yeah, I really wanted some electric TRs to teach Draco Salt. I guess theoretically I could get Thunder from one of the TM shops. I think, no, maybe Thunder is even a TR, I don't know. But like... Uh, there weren't any electric types Dynamax Pokemon. So sadly I couldn't get any. And any of these guys that sell them, they also didn't have anything useful. It's always randomized, I guess it's not just the positions of them that get changed. I mean, yeah, it's just what they sell that changes, I guess. 
Oh my god, don't roost. That's annoying. Why am I slower in the first place? That's not what I like. Hitting myself. Also annoying. Oh, it's the tailwind rod. Finally. No more hitting myself. And it should be gone. Pretty annoying, Pelipper. Let's see. The rain stopped, okay. Oh, nice and bright. Oh, the hail is coming back. Interesting. Noctowl. I mean, I guess it makes sense since it's hailing in that area. I could go Colossal or I could try Greedent. Let's keep Greedent for some other time. I think it's better to hit super effectively with rock type moves. Noctowl is also kind of defensive. Not super, but a little bit. Especially on the special side. Oh no. That's annoying. So let's see if we can wake up soon. He might use Dream Eater. If that's still in the game, I'm not sure actually. Alright, now it's time to wake up again and finish this, please. And don't get flinched. Just let the coal on your head uh, fall down onto him. That would be nice. Oh my god, sleep is so broken. Alright. Rilla Boom levels up. And that's it. I lost. When I think about it, I didn't want it to ever end. I definitely did. But you tried your best and you did a good job at being annoying and dragging this battle out. So props to you, I guess. And we got the full restores as a new item, I guess. <coughs> the music is pretty interesting. Like from a Discovery Channel or a Mystery TV series. Series. Do you know the old legend that says that Gala is doomed if Covenite ever disappear? What? No? But you're a taxi driver thing with Corviknight, so you probably want it to, to appear more important than it actually is, maybe. Right now I wish I had a Fire-type move on Colossal, that's strong, had a base 50, but let's see what I can do here. I guess it's Thunder Shock, to be honest. Yeah. Not much else I can do. Maybe Draco Salt will learn something soon. But his signature move is only at level 60 something. So that won't come anytime soon, sadly. Alright, I thought. Um, Taught it the dragon move that we got from Rayhan. Breaking strike. Or breaking swipe. Yeah, but it won't do much here because Covenant is a steel type. Let's keep attacking with our weak Thundershock. Oh my god, come on. Always the confusion. What's wrong with these people? Playing around with luck. But the chance, uh, the chance to break through is in our favor, so let's try, let's hope, let's not hit ourselves, good. Yes. 
All right, a lot of experience. Another hail damage. Flygon. Ooh. Do we have any ice type move? Doesn't seem like it. Let's try Draco Meteor, I guess. Hopefully we will survive a hit. It shouldn't be super strong, right? And we're fast as well, but we miss actually. That's really annoying and it uses Dragon Tail, oh my god. That's really, really stupid. And of course we get Colossal, but we don't want to get hit by any ground type move. Can't believe Draco Vision or Draco Fish missed, that's really annoying. I guess it's time to try Breed and out. Maybe we can paralyze it with Body Slam. Yeah, AQ is coming out. Please take less than half. Nice. Gridance, uh, defense and attack is pretty solid and HP is amazing, so it's expected to take hits. Not for free though, especially if I had to switch in. But we managed to get the paralysis, that's amazing. Shelba, yeah, not sure how much I like that. Maybe I should switch it up. I'm not sure if Body Slam will kill. Oh, it now. I'll risk it, to be honest. Oh, but it's still faster, of course, because we are super duper super duper. Don't know another word, but we are super slow. Yeah, that's annoying. I wish it was a little bit faster. Alright. Their scooter could take a hit. Rillaboom will definitely take a hit though. And I'm definitely also going to revive Greedent because the experience is important. If it uses Dragon Tail, that's annoying. Oh, it, it might have. It probably had, but. Or it probably has, but. It's fully paralyzed, and I will take that. Time to get kicked out. Oh, nice. All of that just because of the miss from Drake of Fish, but yeah. Alright, nice. There's good. I level 45 already. Oh my god, why do you want to learn Stomp so late? It's not even better than Bite because it's a normal type and we have Strong Char as well. I actually don't know much about the old Corviknight legend. Um, is it even true or did you make that up? I pride myself on my strong Corviknight that carries customers while flying. Okay, I guess we need to heal up again. I don't really like that we need so much HP or that super potions aren't enough anymore. This was the only way, right? It was just that one thing with the apartments, no right? I kind of want to hear the music go on, actually. Maybe something cooler will... Or a part of it will sound even better. Oh, here's the way. To that item. What is it? Power herb. Oh, that's yeah, can be useful. One time use, you can um, remove stat debuffs with it. And there's a tent. Okay, and an item. Pp up. Okay. What do you have to say? You want to know any secret or the secret to making a stellar dish of curry? Add ingredients and berries that are hard to come by. They add something special. Now, if only I could find that most legendary of ingredients, the Fable Gi Giganta mix. Do you know anything about where to find it? Come to my camp and we swap tails. 
Hmm. Sounds interesting. What can we see? Well, I don't really see much. If the, the new Galarian evolution of Galarian. Uh, Mr. Mime. Oh my god. Galarian Rapid Dash. Looks pretty nice. Why is Farfetch'd still... Farfetch'd and not Surfetch'd? Also a Galarian Weezing. Okay, a lot of Galarian stuff here. Not bad. Time to go though. And... Yeah, nice. What are you called, actually? Bertic Rat. Right. Oh my god, no, I'm s slow, so I might not be able to run, but I was able to, thankfully. Um, there are a few more trainers up here. But let's do that in the next episode. It's already like 37 minutes. So yeah, pretty, pretty tough opponents, actually. Any citrus berries. And to be honest, I'm going to give it to Greed and... Yeah, that's more useful than Shelbo. Alright, so... Let's save. And continue with these trainers in the next part. Hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you then. Bye.